I got this new really great job at the Grand Theatre. And then I heard that Emma Donahue lived in town, and I invited you to visit, and we, I asked you to meet me. How was my first impression? Dennis was like, I want your room show, and I want it here, and we will do the premiere in North America. So... I'm always surprised about this story, and I'll give it away, um, is that I think you wrote most of it here in London, Ontario? Yeah, it came to me on the 401. I was, <laughs> I was driving to an event in Burlington, and I'm quite a nervous driver. But a few days earlier, I'd heard about that awful Fritzl case of a woman held captive by her own father for 23 years and having children. And as I was driving along, it began to percolate, and I was like, oh, I bet that child would have an interesting story to tell the world. Did you ever vision it being on the stage? Early on, I remember thinking this could be on stage, but, um, um, I suppose I just didn't, I, I didn't want to just sit down and write a play of it because with theatre it all depends on what kind of a show you're doing. You know, you could do a one-man show in which, you know, 90-year-old Jack looks back on his childhood. You could do a show with puppets. And then Cora Bissett wrote to me out of nowhere and said, you'll think, you'll think this is a wild idea, but I really want to do room with songs to express Ma's secrets, all the stuff she can't tell her son. I want music as a release valve for her. And she said, I promise it will not be a traditional musical, there will be no jazz hands involved. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I never thought to use music, but I, I could just I could sort of smell the talent of her, just by email. <laughs> Some people just have a vision and a, a drive, you know. So I said, fine, let's do it with songs. Um, and it sounds like an allegory of theatre. Two people in a room with very limited objects, um, you know, trapped basically, and they are just ritualizing their daily life. They're making fun. It's like a very upbeat version of Waiting for Godot. You know, they're just like <laughs> filling in the time and making magic. I, I can't think of anyone who hasn't had these very discussions with themselves. So it may not be a kidnapper or a locked room, but the, the basic themes of confinement and the house versus the scary outside world, and they're just more relevant than they've ever been. So I think it'll feel much more like all our stories. Thank you, Emma Donner.